Good morning. It's Wednesday, June 3rd, 2009. I'm Jilly Bedanes, and this is the morning briefing, a rundown of the stories we're following here on WashingtonTimes.com. The Saudi royal family officially welcomed President Obama to the Middle East when he arrived in Saudi Arabia on Wednesday, the first stop in his four-country trip through the region. Coinciding with the beginning of the trip was a release of a tape from Osama bin Laden. The September 11th mastermind said President Obama only offers a continuation of George W. Bush policies and cites recent actions in Pakistan as an example. Meanwhile, new evidence that al-Qaeda is looking to broaden its tactics and its circle of friends. U.S. counterterrorism officials have confirmed to the Washington Times the authenticity of a video of an al-Qaeda recruiter urging followers to take advantage of weak U.S. border security. On the video, the al-Qaeda recruiter discusses smuggling biological weapons into the United States and allying itself with white militia and anti-government groups within the U.S. to wage an attack domestically. A highly sensitive report detailing locations and specific of U.S. nuclear laboratories and research facilities was published online by the U.S. government printing office. While much of the information is available by other means, a Pentagon spokesperson said the situation was a major concern. Over four years after Senator John Kerry's failed presidential campaign and the IRS is claiming they still owe hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. But a Kerry spokeswoman told the Washington Times that the IRS has a gap in its electronic records and that all forms and taxes were filed correctly. Well, that's the news for now. Thanks for watching. Stay logged on to WashingtonTimes.com for these stories and your continuous news updates.